Well, good morning. I hope your day is going great. Chemo side effects. So for me, I'm just speaking from my own experience and what you experience may not be the same as what I have. And I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving medical advice. I'm sharing my experience and how it is for me. So I've had two chemo regimes in the past two years. First, I had Fulfox, which is leucovorin and oxaliplatin, as well as fluorouracil, those three chemo drugs. And the oxaliplatin for me caused tingling and numbness in my hands and feet. Fortunately, in my hands, it went away. And in my feet, unfortunately, I have permanent nerve damage. I still have some tingling in my toes even after two years. I have read articles that say that the nerve damage can be permanent. I know some people on oxaliplatin have it quite badly. One woman that I know has tingling in her legs up to her knees and it's quite severe. And another side effect is that you can get sores and redness and infection in your mouth. So it's really important at the first sign of any small lesion or soreness or little sore in your mouth, rinse your mouth with a solution of water, a bit of salt, like a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of water, a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Don't swallow it, just slosh it around, mix it well, make sure it dissolves, then slosh it around in your mouth for a few minutes and then rinse it out, then rinse your mouth out. Regular mouthwash is too harsh for your mouth when you are on chemo and some of the mouthwashes even have alcohol, so avoid those. My oncologist recommended, this is doctor recommended, my oncologist recommended this water and salt and baking soda solutions and this helps. I've never really had sores in my mouth due to this quick intervention. So last year I was on full theory, which is a different chemo regime and I had fatigue, a lot of fatigue, more than on Fulfox and I had a lot of diarrhea unfortunately and that can cause you to get dehydrated. So you need to make sure that you hydrate properly. I have my hydration solution called Pedialyte. It's not just for kids, it's for adults too. I keep that ready for every chemo cycle and I make sure that I finish about one liter of that in two days. It helps me stay hydrated. You could end up in hospital with dehydration, so it can get quite serious. So those are some of the main side effects that I have with chemo. Oh, the diarrhea. So we're just us girls here. Let's talk about the real stuff, right? So with the diarrhea, I take loperamid, or also known as Imodium. You can get it over the counter, but you can ask your doctor to prescribe loperamid for you. It's a bigger capsule, and I take two of those as soon as diarrhea starts, and then it stops within half an hour, and it stays away usually until the next day or two. I had diarrhea quite badly on Fulfury. Fortunately, now on Fulfox, it's a lot less. So good nutrition is really important to handle all the side effects. As I mentioned, hydration is really important to handle your dizziness. You can get dizzy, you'll feel you're dizzy and you don't feel well when you are dehydrated. Then immediately take action, take hydration or go to emergency if you feel really faint. And the fatigue, I take my rest. I work in the kitchen. I have meals to prepare for my family, but I take it a little by little. I kind of break my work up into chunks so that I can get the potatoes on the stove, for example, and sit and rest on the couch while the potatoes are cooking or the rice. I am strategic and I also keep a chair in the kitchen by the stove so that if I need to sit down, I can sit down. Little strategies. You have to be smart and practical. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Stay blessed.